Hi, I'm Dr. Bertice Berry, and I need to tell you this story. I was making a dress with a collar. Now, since I've been ordained, I've been looking at different ways to um, make collars for my clothes, collars that are attached, collars that are detached. The detachable collar was invented in 18, I think, 65. And did you all know those collars are plastic? People are wearing plastic around their neck, y'all. Anyway, so I made the dress. The dress was perfect. The collar was perfect. I made it so that you can actually put a tab in and take it out. And it wasn't a dress. It was actually a tunic and a pair of harem pants. Um, and and both were really ridiculously beautiful. Um, but I noticed that behind the back of the collar, there was like a little tear from where I was sewing or something. And so I was like, I don't want to sew on top of it because the way I had sewn it, everything, all the stitches were inside. You couldn't see the stitches. So I don't want any stitches on top of it. So I was like, okay, well, I'm going to just take this apart and redo it. So I did. And it was fine, except when I put the tab in, it pulled the neck down too wide. The reason why it pulled the neck down too wide was because when I took off the collar, I had to put on another collar. And every time you take off the collar, you're taking off another piece and the collar, the neckline is going lower. So you need a wider collar to put it on. Anyway, I did that about three times, three times and never was it right. I, I didn't get to wear that tunic. And I could hear my mother in my ear saying, you got to learn to leave well enough alone leave well enough alone it was well enough with that little tear behind it that no one else would see and in my mind I was thinking about the people who might see it or how it might be seen or it might see through or it might tear apart worse or it might and it didn't it wasn't going to do any of those things had I left it alone and every time I tried to redo it it just got worse and worse and worse Sometimes the imperfections that we pick at in our own self are the things that are fine, that nobody else can see, that nobody else would bother. And in picking at those things, we make it much worse. I love you.